So we are on a different bridge now at Warnell. So between buildings three and four, up on the third floor, and we're looking at tulip poplar, Liriodendron tulipifera in the Magnolia family, Magnoliaceae. And there's a lot of interesting things about tulip poplar. Um, first of all, it's native. Um, it can get to be a very big tree. It can grow to be a very old tree. But we know it can live to at least 700 years old because there's plenty of examples of 700 year old tulip poplar in Western North Carolina in a park called Joyce Kilmer, if you ever want to visit. It's got a unique leaf shape. So some people say it looks like a cat's face or like a tulip. Really the, the name tulip comes from the flower, which we don't have around right now, but will be abundant this spring. So it's a big sort of three to four inch bowl shaped flower with yellow and orange splotches on the inside. Very pretty. The fruit, which is here, is an aggregate of Samaras, and this is going to start drying out and falling apart over the winter. But this canopy is loaded with these things, so when the leaves come off, these are still going to be on the tree, and you'll be able to see them throughout the entire winter. So it makes this a very easy to identify winter species. If we take a look at the twig, the terminal bud is super distinctive. So there it is. It's green, it's valvate, which means it's got two scales that fit together like a duck's bill. So it's, it's built for winter right now. It's not wanting me to open it. In the spring, it's really easy to separate these two and find, there we go, got it. So that, these are the two scales, two bud scales. And then inside, that is, that is next year's shoot. That's gonna contain the leaves for next year. Now if we look at other features on the twig, you can see there's lots of stipular scars that go all the way around the twig. You can see the older ones back here. And those are structures that emerge, you know, when this bud is actually flushing and then they fall off shortly after the leaves elongate. Here is, after all these Samaras fall off, this is what's left. This is the central stalk of the fruit. And you can find these on the ground all around tulip poplars right now. So we're up here um, on, this, um, on this bridge and these little, the, those old fruit spikes are sort of all over the bridge. So that's another good clue that you can find on the ground. If we take a look at the bark, maybe you can notice it from up here. There tends to be uh, where the branches connect with the trunk. There tends to be some very dark, uh, sort of upside down V-shaped coloration at each branch node. And we might shoot this from the bottom as well, just so you can get a better sense of what it looks like from where do you normally be walking instead of up in the canopy. So this is tulip poplar, liriodendron tulipifera um, in the Magnoliaceae.